Hey guys, uh, Gao821 here with another Transformers video review, and today we're going to be looking at Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Nest Alliance Brawn. Uh, this guy is uh, part of Wave 8 in uh, uh, Revenge of the Fallen Toy Line Deluxe, and um, he's actually pretty cool. I don't even know what he, what he is. He's, I think he's some sort of a pickup truck, military pickup truck, um, with a machine gun on top apparently. And some uh, fog lights and really nice looking, uh, really nice looking truck mode. Um, I like this um, robot kibble underneath with his uh, head there. Just telling you here. Um, fender, nice fenders, nice, uh, nice uh, Autobot logo there. So I can focus. There we go. Like that. Nice empty bed. Doesn't look very much like robot kibble in this bed here, so I like that. Um, um, nice bumper, nice wheels. The machine gun here can be is articulated. Um. Basically, it goes up and down here, and then it just goes up and down here, like that. And then you can lift this whole thing up, like that, and bring it all the way back. And then you can get it. It's on a rotating joint, but the rotating joint is inside the, inside the car. So you could get it to rotate in car mode, but I don't advise it because the thing will start to just come apart. So, uh, I advise just to keep it going up and down, like that. So it's really cool. Um, I like this. I don't even know what this is. This is some kind of satellite, I guess. Um, nice, uh, what's it called? Poles, whatever you want to call them, nice rear lights, nice headlights, really nice looking uh, vehicle mode. Like it, very military, very, very militaristic. Nice tinted windows, can't see anything inside. And for a quick size comparison, here is with the uh, Hunter the Decepticons Tomahawk. Um, he's almost the same size. Tomahawk is more of a you know thinner because he's simply a helicopter. Um, he is a lot bigger though, a lot more heavy and. Um, just hefty, hefty. See, hefty. Uh, that's a good word. He's a very hefty truck. So um, there it is. Um. So here it is, Braun. Um, and uh, the transformer. Uh, people call this guy a shell former, and I really don't see why because um, his whole part of the car, the car splits up very well. Like the the panels. Yeah, they're panels, but they 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 they're evenly distributed amongst the bodies. So it doesn't really look that bad. So I'm transforming. I'm gonna grab these panels here and lift them up. Like that. And now he's, oh, it's a third mode. He can fly. Like that. Lift those up. Um, next, what you want to do here is going to go and extend the machine gun up. And as you do that, you can go ahead and loosen this back section of these back um, wheels here. Go ahead and uh, bring these side panels down. Like that. Just clip it. They just clip in here to here, like that. Uh, now you can bring these panels back. These will become his arm guards. Bring them back. Go ahead, and, um, go ahead and unfold the arm, the hands here like that. These are his elbows. Fold them all the way back like that. And he's actually starting to become pretty big for a uh, simple deluxe. Like that. Go ahead and split the arms. Bring them down. Like that. And I'm missing his pistols. My little brother was playing with them. And um, I guess uh, he lost them. So, sorry guys. There's little green pistols that he holds there. Um, bend the elbow, go ahead and uh, bring this piece up. But doesn't, this piece does not clip in, it just sits there. But it, it have no problem with it. Um, so up, like that, and there's, there's his arms. So you can see, he's a really, really tough looking robot. Um, now for the back here, you're going to go and rotate this torso bit. Um, split the legs. Um, go ahead and uh, this, this leg panel here will come, come off to the side and fold up like that. Go ahead and unfold the foot like that and bring the whole leg assembly down. This piece, rotate like that, so that will let you extend the knee. And then this windshield will uh, fold down like that. And then uh, for the foot here, you fold the foot down and uh, fold the heel out like that. You can go ahead and straighten it, actually. Like that. Oh, there it is again. Like that. And um, next, what you want to do here is the leg. So... Go ahead and put this piece out, and fold the leg there. Up, and these, these legs like to pop off, so simply pop it back on. This is the ball joint. Like that. And now what you want to do is you can go ahead and uh, strain this um, head. This machine gun here, rotate. see this is what I'm talking about, the rotating joint is here. So you can rotate it around, bring it up, bring it, and uh, bring it over his shoulder like that. And it'll stay there. It's really good. Really nice looking. Fold the foot out. Heel out. Like that. And uh, here 
is Brawn in robot mode. And he really looks tough. I mean, he just looks so, so badass. It sucks he wasn't in the movie. I mean, his vehicle mode was in the movie, Revenge of the Fallen movie. If you look closely in the beginning when they're deploying their vehicles in China, out of the truck, you'll see this guy driving along. So, um, he really does look cool. Um, I can see why people call him a shell former, pretty much because of these two back panels here. Um, but he really, I mean, he really is dynamic. Like, it's not like it's back, it's like, it's like overly overwhelming. Like, you can, like, Press him up against his back like that, and then that'll look okay, I guess. It makes him look like a butterfly, almost. So, there he is. I'm really cool-looking head sculpt. It's almost like a like a grunt from Halo. Um, I love the, the 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 eyes. I love how tough he looks. He almost looks like a um. If you guys see, I've seen the Dark Knight Rises um pictures. Um, he looks like Bane. He almost looks like Bane. So um, he was like that. You can make have him like a up upright neck, or you can have him a squat neck. I kind of like the upright neck better. And uh, that'll, he has ball joint on his head and a swivel here. Ball joint, so he'll, he'll, he'll look up, look down, left, right, all that. Um, arms, there's a hinge here, a mech alive in there, see that? And then you have a ball jointed shoulder, um, a upper bicep, right shoulder swivel, double hinge elbow, and the wrist swivels. Like that. Same with the other hand, uh, waist articulation, there's, some, there's a full 360 because of the transformation. Ball jointed legs, hips, um, upper bicep swivel. I mean, upper uh, thigh swivel. Knee here, and another another knee um, piece here, and the foot goes up and down, and the heel goes back and forth. So there's a pretty good range of articulation for this guy, uh, especially people calling him a shelf armor. And the gun, um, there's a hinge here, hinge back here, and then it rotates it rotate from shoulder to shoulder. So it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I do view him as like a grunt kind of hardcore, sort of like a brother of Ironhide. Like, I really view him as, like, an Ironhide, um, total mimic kind of person. So, he really does look great. And, um, for, uh, let me stand him up because it's, uh, hard to pose him. Really, it's hard because, especially with all the articulation in his feet. Um. Sorry. Uh, there he is. There, that's a good pose. Like that. Like that. Um, and now here he is with, uh, Dark of the Moon Deluxe Bumblebee. You can see he's um he's a little shorter, but he's all he's hefty. Dark of the Moon figures are really light and cheap feeling, so uh, he's a very hefty robot. You can see um he's almost the exact same size, um height. Um, Bumblebee's door wings go a little higher than him, so uh that's it. Oops, sorry. And so here is um um his weapons. He has a machine gun. He 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 has two pistols, and really he doesn't have a gimmick. He's the only figure I know. Which doesn't have a firing missile, doesn't have some kind of gears. Um, the Mech Alive really isn't a gimmick. Um, so, I mean, he really is kind of a different figure. I do recommend him. Very good figure. Um, not really a shell former. Machine Gun's really, really badass. It has a scope there. It just looks cool. So, so uh, there is uh, Dark of the Moon. Oh, sorry, not Dark of the Moon. Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Nest Alliance Brawn. See ya.